Uh, Wrestle War 1990s from Greensboro, and you're on pay-per-view in a singles match. You were unfortunately going to lose to Norman the Lunatic in nine minutes and 33 seconds. Meltzer would say, not a lot of heat here except for the big bumps. Norman got a nice crowd reaction when he came out, but they didn't stay into it. Star and a half. We haven't spent a lot of time talking about Norman. Yeah, Norman was over, you know. Uh, do I mention the, the Terry Funk discussion here? No. Do I go into that? No. Because that was the night of Rick's 42nd oh, birthday. Oh, yeah. No, okay, we're getting there. I thought you meant before the match. Yeah, so Rick's. It's Flair's birthday, and I think you were invited by Kevin Sullivan? I think Kevin invited me, yeah. Uh, but as, as far as I understand it, you were not happy with this match. Right. Yeah, I was a little down about it. And Terry sees me, mm -hmm. uh, and he's talking amiably to me. That's where Dennis Brent goes, I think you enjoy cactus because you see a little bit of yourself in him. And Terry looks at me and goes, I don't see shit in him. So he's joking, but then he gives me a serious talking to in parable form about the devil and the angel and how uh, the, uh, the devil, you know, devil's hated and despised. And he says, don't you understand, without me, there is no him. And he said, Norman was that angel. He said, but can you look at yourself and say that you were the devil out there tonight? You know, and he, and he said, these bumps are great, but unless you can get some heat, they don't mean what they could. And I, I'm paraphrasing there, but he's essentially telling me I've got to work on the character and I've got to do something, I have to learn to do something that's difficult for me, which is show real aggression because I'm not by nature an aggressive person. But if I wanted all those bumps to mean something, especially as a payoff, you know, when I'm a heel or as a way of building sympathy, when I'm a baby face, I have to be able to shift gears. Didn't you tell us before that The Undertaker pushed aggression with you as well? I think he pushed it with Big Show. Okay. I think by the time Undertaker and I, you know, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to say hooked up because I don't want that. You know, that's, you know, yeah, something the you kids say. Yeah, you worked out at the Jack Shack. That was yeah, yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Uh, when we, when we uh, competed against, compete each, against other. each other, I don't think that was an issue anymore. Okay. Because I think I'd learned a lot about that, especially in my second run in WCW and in Japan. So I don't think the aggression, I think he was explaining a big show, a big show had to be more aggressive. 